Now, earlier, we heard from the Secretary General of your party who pledged to use, quote, all legal means to defend your candidacy. Can you confirm that this is indeed the case? Yes, of course, it is indeed the case, but I want to denounce uh, the fact that the Electoral Commission is uh, under, uh, under full control of the regime and the political authority, and I think that that is the big problem that we have in our country. This Electoral Commission has no credibility at all, uh, under injunction and under control and in receiving instruction for the political and the government people in uh, Kinshasa, and that is why that we came to that situation. Of course, we'll use all the possibility uh, we are testing now how to reach uh, probably the court, the constitutional court, and hoping that uh, this court will be independent, but uh, we still uh, think about it. Well, do you believe that you were indeed removed? Because we've heard this from several party members and your supporters, uh, because you represented a threat to President uh, Joseph Kabila, who's also excluded multiple other opposition candidates? Of course, uh, the idea of uh, this is uh, clear now that the idea of the President Kabila is to exclude uh, most of the credible uh, candidates uh, for this presidential election. Uh, that's how we can explain uh, the fact that they exclude uh, my uh, candidacy. But uh, we still uh, see how we can uh, join um, this uh, court, uh, constitutional court, and see if we can have a favorable decision. But let's revert to Congolese law, which says that candidates that have been convicted of corruption cannot run for office. And of course, as we mentioned earlier, you're awaiting the outcome of your witness tampering case at the ICC. What if found guilty and your appeal is rejected? What is your strategy then? But the question that, Madam, you are not right. I have not been, I've never been con uh, condemned by, uh, for corruption. I've been condemned for subordination of witness. And the case is... Tampering pending. with witnesses and evidence can be linked to corruption. You can use whatever word you choose to, sir. Sir, madam, uh, it is clear on the law and the Rome statute, subordination is a witness is completely different than the corruption of witness. So if you read the statute of Rome, 771C uh, is different than 71F, which is corruption. So I'll... second, even if you use uh, that, uh, uh, that aspect, you must know that I'm still on the first stage, I mean uh, the trial chamber, and I can still go to appeal. So the, the case is not definitely finished. I can still go to the appeal. And the law in uh, Congo, the electoral law, is clear. It must be a definitive uh, decision, which is not today. So my question to you was, what if that appeal is indeed rejected? What is your strategy then? I think that the strategy will be seen after. I still hope that uh, we have a constitutional court that will say the law. That's what still I hope. And I really, if they say the law, I have no problem about that one. Now, your supporters you have rejected. vowed to mobilize. Do you plan at any stage to call for the boycotting of the vote? Because, of course, as it stands, Kabila's grip on power remains very strong. I think that uh, we still have uh, to go to all these different uh, uh, ways to find uh, the justice. But, of course, after that one, we see what we can do.